Hello, hi, welcome back to Monster Train. It's me, Cranberry. How is it going? Just came back from work. I had a pretty good day at work, although I had a weird thing happen. Um, so we have this we have this new activity that uh, we're running at my job, and it's sort of like uh, you know, like skeet shooting, where they like you say pull and they shoot the little clay disc and you shoot it out of the air. They're doing that, but instead of using real guns, they're using, like, laser tag guns. They still look like real shotguns, but they have, like, a little laser thing inside of them. So you point it, you, you shoot it, and then the disc has, like, a sensor. And the idea is that, like, you just try to shoot that out of the air, and then you get points when you hit it. And there's, like, a little scoreboard. Um, so that's that's the new activity they're doing. Uh, they were moving the equipment, though. And by they, I mean me. They asked me to move the equipment. So I was moving it from point A to point B. And the little thing that launches the clay disc, um, I didn't realize it as I was moving it, but the thing was primed. And as I was trying to smush it into my car, because it was like the last thing I put in there, as I was smushing it into my car to make enough room for it so it would fit in the trunk, the thing, the, the flinger triggered, and it shot forward, and it just barely skimmed my knuckles on my, on my right hand. It almost hit my hand, and I'm pretty sure it was like a metal bar. I'm pretty sure it had enough force where if it made like a direct hit, it probably would have broke my hand. So that was pretty. Uh, it wasn't. It didn't like initially was shocking, but it didn't actually hurt me. But like I came, you know, within a literal like millimeter of maybe like breaking three of my knuckles on my on my right hand. That would have been not very fun. That's how my day was. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully having a pretty good one. Um, the one thing I've learned is watch out for the launcher. It'll it'll fucking get you. Um, what challenge are we doing today? Let's see. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, we still have, we still have, uh, the, the, what's it, what's it called? Pain train? Ec we still have extra pain train. It's one of the harder ones because there is just no benefits. Um, but we could just, once again, brute force our way through this with a little fade when we want to. And we just did that last run. Let's try to find a run where we can do something unique. And I'm thinking here, we could do Dangerous Minds and try to do Morsels. Or Imps. But, like, that's not even that good, is the issue. Like, I don't know. I guess you can play Imperialist Shard Tail Queen and then your Train Stewards you can toss. But then you can't play any other units on the floor with it, otherwise they also get tossed. Kind of funny. Maybe you could do, like, what would actually be really cool? Imperialist Queen with, like, uh with the, what's it called tombs like imp tombs so it's 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 throwing the tombs i want to man i want to try i don't i don't know if it's actually good enough but it does seem like a really cool run idea you know it, it might not work but let's try it let's try to do this here we're gonna play shard tail queen we're gonna play melting we're gonna play primitive molds too and we're gonna try to reform tombs and toss those with imperialist queen um, that seems like a really fun run idea. Again, not confident it'll work. Oh, and, and then also you can go like Imparade 1 and then all of your units on the floor cost one less. It's pretty cool too. Although we're playing Imperialist and then we, you know, they'll cost less and then be immediately destroyed. So, not great. But this, this, this could be cool. We could also do things like we can do, we can do, uh, we could do... Queen's Impling Infuse onto a tomb as well for extra damage instead of a self-infusion. Um, there's some cool things that this can do, I think. I don't, I'm not saying it's going to be strong, but I want to see if it works for this challenge. And we'll, we'll, let's give it a try. If not, we can always just play Little Fade. It's always an option. Oh my god, look at this start! Look at this start! What the fuck? Double Welder Helper, double Entombed Explosive, and important work. That's, that's, okay, that's pretty fun. Um. Just give me, like, fucking Votive Key, dude. No. Combustible Wax, not what we want here. We definitely want Mark of an Exile. Imperialist Queen has the Dumpy, a.k.a. high HP, so that's probably the route we're gonna go here. Eh. We do see Imperialist, okay. Could go Imperate too, but I, I really wanna do this strategy. I think it'll be really cool. It might not even actually be that good, but it, I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of in love with the idea here. I think it could be really fun. And it's a little bit different from the challenges we've been doing. Spike seems pretty free here. Between between the normal imps, imperialist, and uh, you know just everything else we got, we should be able to handle this, I think. 
I'm hoping at least. Um, no matter how you do that, yeah, whatever. Got a lot of imps coming up here. A lot, a lot of clergymen, I mean. Huh. Uh, the thing is that this actually takes three hits. This takes one hit, dies, and then kills one, so it takes two hits. This is effectively saving more HP. Although, hold on, we have we have primitive mode. What am I doing? Hold on, let's see what we get here. Okay, now we do this. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm kind I'm kind of in love with this run. Stack up all the armor here. We'll, we'll take the we'll take the one kill here. Uh, we already win, but you know, whatever. Okay, very cool. Now the the issue is we can't play other units on the same floor as Shard Tail Queen. That's the big issue right now, so we have to avoid that. Oh my fucking god, dude. Well, I we oh we get two. We get we get we get two copies. So we can get we can get four We can get four welder helpers or we can get two more fledgling imps. I think we go fledgling imps here. Fledgling imps seems like a pretty sick pickup. And then more explosives, dude. We're just gonna fucking explode everything. This is an incredible run. Um I think we need to prioritize finding endlesses right now, honestly. I think we need, like, maybe we can get a good melting banner, but, like, we really just need units, or up, endless upgrades here, I think. Oh, my, that, maybe not. Maybe we can just, like, actually just chalk the deck full of value and just play units over and over again. And we have primitive mold to bring them back, too, is, like, the thing. Yeah, this is sick. We're still going this way, though, I'm pretty sure. We got up here. We got Paraffin Enforcer. We got Paraffin Thug, which I don't like. I don't like either of these that much in this run, I don't think. We could always play Paraffin Enforcer as a, a separate strategy top floor and then play the Queen mid floor. We get two of them, so we can also self infuse, which is nice. Um, not the issue is I'm just not super interested in it. Um. You know what would be fucking hilarious? What if we, like, if we infused... If we infused, like, I don't know... I guess, like, Entombed Explosive onto Paraffin Thug? So that way, when it fucking detonated, if it killed things, you, get, you got money still? That'd be pretty funny. I don't think it, I don't... I think that's uh, t horrible. But, like, in my brain, my brain is like, yo, that might work. Um... I don't know. I, I kind of, I really think I just want to see how far we can go just playing a shit ton of, of imp tombs on the top floor of Shardtail, like full Imperialist. I want to see if, I basically I want to see if a Thunderdome run is possible. Like it's ba it basically became impossible in the DLC because of like the mini bosses on the, uh, on the Divinity fight. Like it became impossible to Thunderdome the boss because those guys would just walk up and kill your pyre if you're trying to Thunderdome. But we might just be able to output so much just raw damage via uh, explosions that we might be able to kill the bosses. We might, we'll probably need to dip royalty though is the issue. We'll need to go like, I don't know, Imperialist 2 royalty 1 to get the queen strong enough. Although maybe even, actually you know what, with the fledgling imps we might be able to get there too. Like just queen will be able just to, you know, pop the mini bosses and kill them in one hit. Either way, I actually don't like these units that much and I think we skip here. And with the Imperialist play, I kind of want to go, like, HP maybe on one of... I don't know, so... There's a lot to think about. What's the most important thing here? And I, I actually don't know what the most important part of this strategy is. Because, like, I think for, for Relentlessing, I think a Fledgling Imp is important. 
I think I think welder helpers are important too for just durability whatsoever. And I think the explosives are important for frontline damage as well. I don't know what the correct answer is here. Um But the the thing is that I want to put I want to put plus 25 on whichever is our most important unit cuz that'll be the unit that we also prioritize putting endless on. And that unit will be the one that we're playing every turn in the front to absorb damage from frontliners. Um, and I don't, I don't know which is the most important unit. Well, let's just say it's not Train Steward and it's not Clean Zimbling, right? Let's get those out of the way real quick. So the question is, what do we prioritize? And I, my, my heart is telling me that a, a fledgling imp will be the most important imp to play multiple times in a run. I think that we are going to probably do fledgling imp. And my guess is we're going to infuse a Welder Helper onto it. That's my theory right now. Um, that being said, Fledgling Imp. Uh, Reroll. Okay. We get an Endless. That is unbelievably good news. So we'll do we'll do one welder helper onto the fledgling imp, and then I think we just do like a lot of self entombed fuse. Uh, we'll do like a lot of self entombed uh, explosives. Although maybe what we'll do is because the queen's imp the queen's implings are less valuable on their own. Maybe we'll infuse the queen implings onto the entombed explosives. It's ten less damage, but then we get to have like four entombed explosives instead of just like uh, you know two with ten more damage. And then we're also removing Queen Simplings, which is really cool too. I think I like that a little bit more. Another thing to point out, it shouldn't, it might, in, in some situations it's worse. There, there's, there's two, there's two different high roll relics we're looking for right now. We're looking for uh, Ashes of the Fallen. What's the name of the relic? The, du the double, the double summon trigger. We're looking for that and we're looking for Wax Snuffer, which is the, the double extinguish trigger, right? We're looking for both of those. Those are very high roll relics for us. And if we see them, uh, we're, we go out of control. Um, we don't need a unit draft, but I also feel like we're unkillable right now. So I think we can just play this and then skip the unit and take 25 gold. Maybe a mistake? I don't know. But I'm feeling I'm I'm feeling myself here. Um Clap that down here. We'll take five for the for the collector. No big deal. Yep, that's all according to plan there. Um, I'll put these down here just for fun. Oh my! I just noticed something. I'm an actual dummy. All of our champion is a unit type. Mark of an exile is giving all of our units bonus HP, and I just noticed now. I am a fool. That's also sick. That's like actually really cool. Anyway. There you go. Easy peasy. Nice. Huh. I think... Part of me thinks Ritual Battle is the way to go because we're kind of... we're. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not certain what we want to do here. I think Ritual Battle is correct. Just because it's like... It's more damage scaling for the Queen. We don't... We shouldn't need Vent. In theory, we're hopefully not going to need Fortify, although I might be wrong about that. I don't know. I think your Ritual is fine here. Oh my god, it's Molten Encasement. Um, I think we will have enough Tombs. I, I, I think we'll have enough Armor from the Welder Helpers. I don't think we need the Molten Encasements. I think that's too many hats. Um, but Molten Encasement is really good. I don't think we need it. So we're just gonna skip there. 
Huh. Rail beater is a little interesting. Alpha fiend, don't get me wrong, I am alpha fiend gaming, but we're we're I'm I'm committed. I am full send on this <laughs> on this insanity shard tail queen run. So I think we're just gonna play no units. I think we're just gonna go all in on on reforming and just playing all of these fuckers. I'm excited to see how it goes. Um I got plans, by the way. I got real good plans here for sure. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go, hey, it's time to infuse. And I think we're gonna go Welder Helper. Onto the Fledgling Imp, right? We're all familiar with this part of the plan. A little update to the plan, though. We're gonna dupe that fledgling imp right off the bat here. So we've got we got two of these sons of guns, right? That they're just going out of control. Um. Now that does leave us with not much energy to play other cards. So we have we have kind of an issue there. Also, get get the fuck away from me, demon fiend and alpha fiend. You already know I don't want you. So. There is going to be a, a two different uh, problems with this run right now, right? Problem number one is that we have two held over fledgling imps, right? That will be uh, doing great stuff for us as far as damage is concerned. But the issue is that they are going to be um, expensive, right? We're going to we're going to draw them. We're going to spend two of our energy playing them and then we have one energy left over currently, right? We have important works that'll maybe I mean doesn't really alleviate it cuz the imp still costs one. We can we can dip imp parade and make all of our imps free which 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 solves that, but we we might not see imp parade, right? We shouldn't guarantee we shouldn't plan on seeing it cuz it, it might not show up. Um So, we have the option of going Basically, the way I see this, double space upgrade to fit more things on the floor and then hit Imp Parade. So we just dump our hand every turn. Or we can go Energy 1, Size Increase 1. Um, and I think we're going to go Size Increase first, and we'll wait until we see our next upgrade to decide if we go Imp Parade or not. We'll play accordingly. Um, we just go in here now. What do we got? Oh. Okay, well... We we don't need more fledgling imps is the issue here. <laughs> that's just that's just too many. But you gotta make five cards of something. Couple of good choices here. We can go in doomed explosives. Everyone loves that. You can go important work. All of your imps are units, so this is just this is just a redraw on all of our things, and it works well with the fledgling imps too. Um, I think I'll actually want to duplicate this five times. It might be a little debatable. But I think I like this. In theory, we could draw a hand with only important works on it. I think about it, that might cause some problems. Um, so maybe not. Hold on, let me think. This is too many imps. We need we need a, a balance of imps and buff entombed explosives. Hmm. What do I think we do? I think we just do one copy. I think one copy of important work is a nice middle ground here. Man, I do I do want I do want seven of these fucked up fledgling imps. But they have it's just it's just too many. It's just too many. Um so I don't think we can do it. Yeah, I'll take I'll take one important work. I don't know, I'm a coward. Maybe five in tomb explosives is better there, but then we also risk not seeing the uh the imps in time. Um I don't know, kind of a weird one. I am loving this run though. This is actually hilarious so far. Oh my god. That's 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 fantastic. Hey, what are you doing up here?
We do need to get these train suits out of here. They are kind of making things worse. Oh my god. I played this in the wrong order too. I forget you do sweep. That right here. There we go, he dies. Train Stewart, go get him. Nice. Yeah, this is less of a Thunderdome and more of a Thunder Stomp. The, the, the Queen is just doing it. Remnant Pact is maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen in this deck, too. Holy shit. Oh, la double last. How do you pass double last stand? I can't do it. Intent on death obviously makes a ton of sense, too. Like, it actually makes sense with the things. But, like, come on, man. <laughs> last stand. My guy. We need it. Um. Bounty Stalker. <laughs> uh. Doesn't. I mean, it kind of works because it, it does. If we play it on the floor, it does die immediately, but it's not very good. We're, we're, we're committed. And then we go we go size upgrade first. And if we see Imp Parade, we'll go double size. And if we don't see Imp Parade, we'll go energy next. It's kind of how we're playing this one. Now, I think we just keep going right. And we keep looking for more unit upgrades for our for our uh, tombs. Like, giving them endless would be funny too at this point. So, what do we got? Also, train stewards be gone. Uh, let's look in here too, I suppose. No real harm in it. Uh, what do you got? Okay, so we got royalty instead of imperi uh, instead of imp parade. So I think we're gonna go energy upgrade after the next fight. We'll see though. I don't know. Maybe something will change. Maybe we'll get like forever flame, and then we just go unbelievably out of control. Um, you could take royalty here too. I don't hate it, but the imps should be. You know, their imps are already basically a royalty buff, so. I don't think they're required. Now. This is not good. This quick does not do anything for us, really, so we will take a reroll here. Find multi strike. Slap multi strike on a Walter Helper, go to town. Um, no. We will not take these. We will instead purge a train steward. Now, I, I, I fully acknowledge that currently our three cost spells in this deck are, are dead cards because we just, we just don't have energy to play them. But, who knows? Maybe we'll see like a... Oh, I was hoping for a value stone. Okay, we're going to keep going mad with power, by the way. We're going to infuse... Like I said before, the Queen's Zithlings onto the Entombed Explosives. Get, thins the deck out of a bad card and makes these basically as good. So you'd love to see that. I don't know what, we have we have three more temples to do this. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go way over on shards probably too, but I do want to actually infuse maybe all of these uh, entombed explosives. We'll see. Oh, hello, party boy. How are you doing today? Um. The haste combat is not even real because we're already playing. Uh, enemies have haste. And you having cases maybe actually a debuff for you because you resolve less times. I'm feeling maybe a little too confident here. I'll give him the armor, dude. Go.
Oh man, he gets by and does like two damage to our pyre. That's like I can live with that. Here you go, take that instead. Hmm. Should have just played the welder helper, but like I, you know, whatever. Here, take forty instead down here. That's a big boy. Okay. I cannot be stopped. Not a good plan, actually. Would be kind of funny, but not 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 realistically a good maneuver. You can come on up. I have no fear. It was close until it wasn't close anymore. Actually, it's still pretty close, but we get there. Okay, cool. <laughs> More important works. Two to four is a bit iffy. I think we don't want that many. Imp in a box, though. It is just random imps. Not that good. I think we want to. I, I don't think we want random imps. I think we're good the way it is. Although getting like a getting like a pyre chomper would be really nice. But nah. Fatal melting. We do. We oh mem memories of the melted might actually be pretty useful. Hmm. I don't know. Fatal Melting makes sense because we're just, you know, we're just churning through units right now in this deck. Memories lets us... Oh, you know what? Memories lets us play all these expensive cards too. I'll actually take the Memories here. I think this is one of the few times where I actually want this. Um, it's a dead card though when we don't have them. But, mm, maybe not. You know, I'm actually going to take Memories and then we're going to commit to the double the double uh, space uh, upgrades instead. Maybe it'll actually be worthwhile. We'll see. Now, I would like more of my big explosive tombs. So maybe we go left side here and we just dupe. We get a free relic too. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. D are you a demon? No, you're... Oh, you are a demon. Because everything is everything, dude. Oh, everything is double strike. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's a, a game changer right there for sure. Um... In that case, maybe we do just go triple triple fledgling imp strats. I imagine that would be really strong. I don't know. That should just win the game, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty confident this does just win the game, so we're gonna do this. Oh my god. That's that's ungodly strong here. Abandon stave in this deck is just now we get to go free double size upgrade. Now I, reg I regret taking the uh the what's it called? Memories of the Melted. Now this feels horrible. Um But we we're like we just we're just unbelievably strong. Spikes four? Um, I am not afraid of Spikes 4. Not even in the slightest bit. I am afraid of, uh, the boss here, though. The boss is a spooky one. Also, this is not a good draw for us. Oh, well. I should have put you behind the queen. That's my bad. Oh well. 
Take a little bit of pyre damage from this big boy. A lot of pyre damage, oh shit. Okay. This draw, not great. Where are my big imps? There we go. Getting a little worried, getting a little worried that I won't deny it. Oh, I should have played this instead. Oh, well. Okay. This is a pretty- this is a pretty bad draw. I think we all- Oh, fuck me. I should have done this first. Oh, well. Okay. We we do just win off of this, which is nice. But that was the, that was dangerously close to losing. Mainly because of that one big enhanced armor boy at the start. Um We have th this does make the uh the memories of the belt to feel a bit better. But they're the only spell that gets this. And I might even remove them from the deck now that we have uh, the stave. So I think I would want to skip this, actually. Oh, imp in a box. We just skipped that one thing? Yeah, we'll skip it again here. Yeah, I don't know. I, Fatal Melting again is tempting. I don't think we need it. Wickless Recruitment? Nah. We'll take some pyre health. I feel I feel a little scared right now, honestly. Come in here. Ooh, another endless. I think at this point we want endless on probably an, an explosive tomb here. For more upfront damage for heavies. That seems good to me. Uh what do we have in the caverns here? Ooh, a spike. Rail spike's gotta be pretty good here. Making any of our units go from one to zero is pretty solid. Um, so yeah, I like that. We have five energy right now. Seems pretty solid to me, at least. Um, and then we'll get some removals here. Removals will be nice. Uh, I think we do the last train steward. And then I might be crazy, but I think we might want to remove uh, the Vengeful Shards before the Memories of the Melted. I think going down to... I think four energy is all we need, because like in theory, all we need to play is just one, two, three, four. Right? That's all we really need to play. Um, so four energy should be enough for our energy needs. So I think we remove Vengeful Shard one, and Vengeful Shard number two. Um, ooh, we have value stone. I don't hate value stoning one of our like like last stand value stone seems pretty good here. Um, but I don't know. We don't need any more units. I feel like we have we're we're good. We're good on the units here. We don't need to you know we don't need to dupe any more fledglings. We don't need to dupe any more entombed explosives. We should be fine. So I do actually kind of like the value stone play here on like last stand. Makes a lot of sense to me personally. And then we'll seek stone. Not really feeling seek stone here, I don't think. Like, I don't know. You could you could you could seek stone awoken rail spike. It seems like actually a pretty good seek stone target. Um uh, I don't know. Maybe. Let me think. Yeah, I'm looking ahead here. I, I can actually go with the Seekstone, I feel like. Just stick at 105 for now. First turn, just pop this bad boy. 
Just dig as soon as possible to look for imps. It makes sense to me. Ooh, we do have to be careful here. We have the purple stone. So that's gonna that's gonna mess our imp play up quite a bit. I guess we, I guess both of them mess us up quite a bit actually. Now that I think about it. But we gotta be careful. Uh, okay, well, we'll do that, I guess. Okay, maybe, maybe, we'll, okay, you're, you're actually dying. I, I played these in a terrible order on the bottom floor, by the way. Horrific, horrific job. That's great. You guys are doing great down there. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Um, okay. Most of them are finally dead. That's good. Okay, well. This top floor is really fucking things up for me right now, I gotta admit. Huh. Huh, I think we actually lose here. Because we can't play imps up the... Blinding Dark Shroud actually ruins this. I think we have to, like, do some jank here. We might have to play bottom floor instead, based on the sequencing here of, of, of uh... Of our, what we got. Yeah, I think that's actually the correct play. Yeah, I think, I think top floor is a mistake here. So then you go Shard Tail. Imp. Actually, hold on. Again. Let's do this correctly. Because a well Wilder Helper will be will be relevant here, I imagine. Shark Tail. Wilder Helper. Imp. Spike. And then, I don't know. Kill them all. Let's just get this out of deck. Oh, well, it's happening again here. Um, I guess what you can do is you can like do something like this, where you can set them up. Trying to think. Nah, the issue is if we play this up here, then one of them might not die. We gotta, we gotta play him somewhere though. We need him to die. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Maybe we have to, we have to actually skip the welter helper here. Much as it sucks. It really sucks, dude. Okay, so fuck me again. Apparently I was supposed to play it so I get important work this turn. That's my bad. Oh my god, fuck me, dude. I'm gonna do this, I guess. I think we survive up here, maybe? I don't know.
Let's go back. Let's do it. Let's run it one more time. Now that we know about the the important work draw, we'll play it appropriately. That's actually a really big deal. That one round. Okay, so this all the same way again. Honestly, we don't want them in the reform pool, and we don't want to redraw them. So let's actually play in mid floor. This is this is where our bad imps go right now. I have now just realized. Um. Honestly, I think Walter Helper is now classified as a bad imp as well. He goes here. Although he does burn out right away, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know. Enter for a bit of damage on Arcus there. The purple shard, fuck me. And yeah, this is where we mess this is where we quote unquote messed up. Bad imps go. Draw important work. Play this down here instead. And yeah, like as you can see, it makes a big difference there. Um, oh, but you don't die now, dang. Wait, you know what? There you go. Close, not quite get the kill, but that's pretty close to it. Should save a bit of damage. I fucking hate this. God damn you. At least everything dies down here now, that's good. Um that's technically better. I don't know. Debatable, I suppose. We had 9 HP on the Pyre, but we're, we're more or less stabilized now, which is good. We're gonna get two more curses added to our deck now. That's, that's fine, I suppose. Um... No one's leaking right now, so it's not a big deal. I'll just put you here for now. I don't know. That's good. Okay. Should have put this down first, I suppose. Would have gotten in quite a few hits. I think the... Tombs will get us there? Hey! Hey, fuck you, Arcus. You piece of shit. Okay, that's fun. Uh, Formless Child, no thank you. Not today. Hallowed Halls could be funny too with all these imps somehow. I don't know. I think I, I do. I think we just stick with the plan right now. But it is a cool idea for sure. We're gonna go double size. But maybe at this point we go card draw, just so we can get our imps more reliably. No, I think it's double size. I think we stick to our guns here. We definitely go left side because we need to remove junk from this deck still. 
I think we need to remove maybe the Rituals of Battle now. Or maybe the the Queen's Implings. Actually, probably the Queen's Implings. They're kind of doing nothing at this point. I think... Yeah, I, I don't know. Rituals do something. They're actually kind of useful, I think, there. Because I think we played one of them on, like, the... 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 The explosive at one point or whatever. Yeah, I think I think implings go. I'd like my last stands to cost one, so that way we can hit them off of rail spike and play them for free. No, nothing possible there. Uh. Yeah, okay. If we had money, we could do the Eternal Stone. Maybe we'll get money here, but even then, I don't I don't want to do it. No, thank you. Oh my god. What the, what the fuck do I do with this? This means nothing to me. All of my units are already one size, and I don't want them bigger. This is nothing. Let me out. No. Um. What do we get here? Okay, we do see Imp Parade. Like, why not, right? Like, Imperialist 3 is just 40 damage per Imp. What if we just played all of the Imps, though, is the thing? I kind of like it. So we'll do this. Um. Well, look at the temple. We're not going to get anything, though, I'm pretty sure. Or you could do this, but that's not even good. You could do one of these, which is okay, but I don't think it's worth the shards. Um. And then we just move on. I'm not taking trials. Uh, that that last round put the fear of God in me right now. I am very terrified. Um, this is why we took a Woken Rail Spike, by the way. To prevent hands like this from ruining us. Uh, I think we played top floor. I don't mind the curses too much, I don't think. We, Imp Parade should cover us on energy here. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Um... No harm in playing you either, it looks like. Get this out of the deck. Okay. Queen's Implings go to the middle right now, because we don't need them in the Reform Pool anymore. Yeah, we want, like, we want good boys, like, in Tomb Explosive in this pool now. drawing many cards though huh just fine not a big deal you guys are about to all get sent to hell here Well, this is basically how we wrote up this turn.
Oh, that's pretty sick. So Gurg's goat is actually saving us here, I'm pretty sure. I think we might just be literally doomed. Oh my god, Impish Scholar with the with the last stands. Holy shit. Now we need to remove the memory so we don't hit those. But this is easy. Get this out of here. Maybe Engulf and Smoke is like worth kind of considering, but I don't think so. Not really. Uh, and I think here, the one thing I want more than anything else is actually the... Uh, oh, the removals are probably really important. Yeah, let's do that. I was going to say we want the Pyre help, but I think we want the removals are a bit more important. Be able to do that. Multi-strike, perfect. Yeah, get these get these memories out of here. Like, fuck this shit. Maybe we can find more endlesses. No, we have the multi. Yeah, I forgot about that. Include the trinket shop. Two units get plus 30 HP and one burnout. Consume crown is maybe okay. Like, it's just like a slight... It, it's not that much more scaling, actually. Never mind. We'll just do a removal, I think. Buy one removal on and probably the Queen's Impling here. Yeah, Queen's Impling for sure. Um, and what do you do? That's the question. What do you duplicate here? Oh, I forgot we have the Woken Rail Spike, but if we hit that, that's not a big deal either off of the Impish Scholars. That should be fine. I think I would like my uh, one cost, not uh, pack sharded last stand here i think that is the last spell i want in here yeah hopefully this will be enough well i suppose we'll see and i could definitely see this falling apart but win or loss this has been a very fun run and i would do it all over again given the chance um, yeah, we'll play the rail spike. I will, I believe, play the last stand here as well. Because we will, we will get it back potentially with the, uh, Impish Scholars. So this should be fun. Hmm. I will I will rally you as much as I damn well please, Seraph. I do not give a damn. Our our goal here more or less is just to alpha strike you down. Okay, this goes to the middle floor. This is where the imps belong. Oh my god, he's fucking dead, dude. Um, put this down. Put this down. The impish scholar. Play a last stand. Guess imps go down here now. I don't want to just rally you for like free, so we'll play this down here. Uh, as we all know, clean zimplings go here in the middle floor. I am actually a little bit worried. If if the Seraph hits us, we might just die in one hit from all the melee weakness we have. I can definitely see that happening. But also, I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, 
and we do currently kill Seraph in one single hit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. I think this stands to reason that this is actually the strongest Shard Tail Queen I've ever seen. Uh, 1,358 rage is quite a bit. Um, so that's neat. Okay. As we all know, this is where the bad imps go. We get in our hand, I guess. I'm sorry, guys. It has to be done. Oh my god. Ma, 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 ma. We, oh, we straight up win this right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this for fun anyway. Right now we lose. So that's fine. Because now we win. <laughs> There you go. Uh, we go to the Divinity. I think we also kind of win this pretty easily, although I'm not certain. I don't know. Not the best imp starting hand, I gotta say. Although I like Impish Scholar being in the in the reform pool early. That seems pretty cool to me. I think I also like just killing him here. We get one bigger uh, Woken Rail Spike. Yo. Um. Hey, what a hit. Okay. Oh my god, beautiful. Hey, what do we hit off a of primitive mold? We get fledgling in. Hooray. And once again, oh wait, they they get killed. <laughs> they do not go to the mid floor now. They actually die if we play them. Well, unfortunate, but no big deal, hopefully. This floor, not gonna lie, a little spooky. I might actually just play this down here to, to chunk out the Wilt Wings. Um, I don't think it matters too much, but it is spooky for sure. Nah, I think we just play top. go. What are you taking 15 from? Oh, the detonation and then also the attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Reinforce would have been actually really nice in this deck. It would have reassured me quite a bit here, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, the back ones are still living. Dang. Oh, what the heck? We just gave you more armor? Clean sibling, no. Okay, we fucked that up somehow. Hold on, the Queen sibling made everything worse. I'm not quite sure how it actually... Oh, because the the divinity sweeps before the imp actually gets to get... The imps get thrown. Okay. Duh. That is just my bad. Um... We'll do this all the same. Although, honestly, in, in retrospect, I think you're better off maybe playing the Ritual here. I 
Maybe, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh yeah, actually definitely not. This is horrible. Back, 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 back. Let me let me start over. Okay. No, 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 no. Do this. Rail spike. Reform. Fledgling Imp. Ritual. Impish Scholar. We get the last stand. Ritual. Okay, this was much better than last time. So then, we, yeah, we drew all these this turn. Um, so we should play this too. What do we get? Another Impish Scholar. Okay. Um. Another Rail Spike. Okay, we can play the Rail Spike here, see what we draw. Ooh, that's really nice. Um... I don't know if this is actually beneficial or not. I'm a little little conflicted on it, right? Because I think you wanna I think you wanna kill these guys with a with a with a Imperialist so they don't get the armor from each other, right? If that makes sense. Like we wanna kill these two simultaneously so this one isn't getting armor from this one dying, is kinda how I see it here. Hmm. I think that's how this works. Oh, I should I should do this too. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is nice too. Um, so yeah, Queen's not dying here. She's taking a lot of damage. I think we just go. Maybe we just play Imps behind and we implate them all at once. And by implate, I mean Imperialist. And all, all at once. Although maybe we just put one to tank. Yeah, let's try that. Two of them, two of them live. Oh, playing this detonates you right now? Maybe that's fine. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's, oh, that's so much better. Oh my god, that's so much better. And then you definitely last stand here. Everyone dies, okay, cool. And then, and then Queen only takes 10 damage from the sweep. That's, that's like, that is ideal, basically. You do love to see it. Okay. Yep. Chains is dead. Very cool. This is a lot of upfront damage here. But we already tanked through it all, so that's good. Get this here for fun. Here we draw. Ah, eh, you know, whatever. Not the best in, but it could be worse.
Why are you gaining more armor now? What the heck? Oh, you're dying to sweep. God damn it. You know what? Fuck you. Wait, does our... Do you, do you kill our pyre? Hold on. Let's slow it down. Hopefully, if our pyre just wins, we'll just play it out here, because I think we're fine from this point on, basically. Good, we're good. Okay. There you go. Everyone dies. And then Queen gets the 1v1 there. Definitely a little spooky. And we definitely could have played that more optimally, where we didn't take that damage. I, looking at it afterwards in slow, I saw that one of the frontliners only had 4 HP, so I think if we had played the uh, double explosive, it would have killed him. Shardtail Queen would have gotten a melee hit on the uh, one of the units, and then it would have made everything much easier there. I think she had to end up hitting that for 6 and then hitting the, uh, the Harvester for, like, you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Fun run. Very cool. I'm glad I'm glad it worked. I'm glad I'm glad turning everything into an imp and then just killing everything uh is a winning line in this challenge. I think I got pretty lucky though too with it, so you know, a little bit of it wasn't the highest high roll. We saw no transcendence. Um you know, things things could have been easier, but definitely a high roll to be certain. Um, the Gurg's Goat, oh baby. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I will give you the seed, and I will see you later. Let's see here. Origins Condo Privacy, interesting. Uh, goodbye.